Okay, so in this video I'd like to talk to you about something very important. In any relationship, in any project, in any new skill that you happen to be learning. And that's the dip. It's a very simple concept, but once you get your head around how it applies, it can be hugely beneficial. So like in any relationship, in any project you're doing, you'll be working and you'll be learning and you'll be very excited about the process. You'll be learning new things and being able to apply them and you'll be feeling like you're making great progress very quickly and that's fantastic. But usually sooner or later that honeymoon period will start to come to an end and things will just get that little bit more difficult, that little bit more trying and that maybe even that little bit less exciting. And this is where you have the dip. This is where things get a lot more difficult and a lot less fun. It doesn't always happen so severely but sometimes it does. And when you're entering into this dip, it's better to be aware of why you're doing the process in the first place. What's the base principle of wanting to get to that end destination? That's the key thing. Because as a lot of research shows, successful people quit just as much as everyone else, except they're much more aware of why they quit and why they stick with other projects or stick with other relationships or stick with other hobbies or learning interests and that's the point is that when you're hitting that dip that you're aware of why you went in there in the first place the benefits to you and the reasons why you're going to stick with why you're going to move through that dip faster and better another little element that is very handy thing to be aware of is the principle of just doing a little bit all the time so that when you're working uh, and building your website that if you're running through a bad period, if you're in that dip, uh, whether through your own uh, issues around your work or not, that you can't give it the time you'd like to or not, that you don't, you're not too hard on yourself. And this is important because a lot of people think, oh, I didn't, didn't manage to get that done, I'm terrible, and they go uh, too negative about this problem. I'd suggest a particular approach where you have three goals. So you have your schedule, your, your project plan, your schedule of uh, how many hours you're going to put into it at what regularity to be finished by a certain date. But I'd suggest that you have an ambitious uh, series of objectives or goals, uh, a moderate or conservative series of goals, and then a just about good enough series of goals. So that it's not just one thing, it's not so black and white, it's, there's a few different levels of, of continuing with your work. Again, so that when realistic, realistic be, let's be realistic, th these things happen. Uh, life gets in the way of, of a lot of these plans and it's important to be able to bounce back off that and not get yourself too down about it. Through the community forums, we have an awful lot of support systems to help you with that, help you get back on track. But it's just one of those principles to have in mind when you're going through this project, whether you're working with self-assembly sites or going a different route, is the importance to do just a little bit all the time and then you get into a habit of doing that little bit so it means when you look back at it you're all, you know that you've done something rather than absolutely nothing and it's, it's a crucial difference to allow yourself that breath uh, to be realistic about the project and realistic about how you move through that project. So this is the crucial element that knowing why you want to do something in the first place, for example, working with self-assembly sites or any other project or learning experience. If you know, if you're absolutely certain as to why you want that destination, then you can get through that dip an awful lot easier and faster than most people who don't. So we want people who are sure of why they want to be with self-assembly sites. When you're building your website, we want you to have the best options available to you. Now, most of the time we feel that self-assembly sites fulfill that, but in a couple of instances, it may not. And we're happy to support you and move you to the best option available for you. But for those who feel the self-assembly sites is for them, we want you to be happy and secure and sound in that decision.